Yeah, and they're back again. BBPN Season 5 Playoffs. We're going into match number five. Good Lord. What a crazy game that was. Well, maybe some would say we're casting who's been long overdue for a game finally fucking going his way. Well, it's true. You've seen how much epic fail he's had. Finally, a game goes his way in the playoffs. Unbelievable. All right, let's get out there to the stadium and let's find out what's going to happen this time. All right, Constable Ed, God, he has been on point this playoffs. He has been making every call. I don't think anyone's getting away with anything. Maybe the odd occasional foul, but it's usually after he's already ejected somebody. And he's too busy off on the booking circuit there. All right, let's take a look. What have we got here? Oh, good Lord, how much time and go, boy. What a matchup this one is. Dark Elves and our God Woody's Elf on Elf action. You got wood? Anyone got wood for sheep? Oh, I got wood for sheep. Yeah, I bet you do, Sunshine. All right, let's see what we get this time here. Dark Elves, take it away. All right, they can go and actually go get the ball. To the pit. Oh, come on. Let's not get that crazy here. But, yep, yeah, off to the pit they go. Let's turn it around here. As you can see, he moves the AG4. With the block. Oh, well, he's got a plan here. Yeah, Forest of Dancing Time. Oh, don't fucking remind me. My favorite song. Yeah, right. Blow it up, your tailpipe. Push me. Push you here, Dark Elves. Let's take a quick look here at the teams here. You can see the Wood Elves, nothing. They have nothing left. Three rerolls. Have the fame, though, and, of course, have the Apothecary. As for the Dark Elves, we did have quite the discussion about this one here. They only have the one reserve. Three rerolls, of course, though. They do have quite phenomenal. Look at this lad, though. Movement 9 on a Blitzer. <clears throat> and he's got tackle. Those catchers aren't getting away. Not at all. Well, he's got a light cage going here. Oh, he's decided to go charging it with tackle. Yep, strength for Lyman here. He's taking this one down. Good boy! Panda! Fucking rubber stupid shut up! Yeah, well, you even think it's Panda. Epic fail on strike forward. He's stunned already. Oh, well, we're going to see how strong that take under armor is going to be for today. <clears throat> I know, I'm running out of beer. It's been a crazy, crazy week indeed. Someone donate some beer to the poor casting booth here. Anyway, Wood Elves, all right. He's in no rush. At least not yet anyway here. That was a good solid turn there on the defense. Quite frankly, all it did is he bought time. Tree comes in, marks two players, good use of the tree. Merely they can dodge away on anything but a one. But yeah, it's Teak versus Mithril. Absolutely. Shirts, shirts. I don't know. What's a chert? Is that that little cod piece they wear? Alright, we'll call it that. Mithril chert. Oh dear. Went right after the calder girl. Good boy. You're a fucking choir boy compared to me. A choir boy. And there we are. It is indeed an early casualty. It is a KO. And the choir girl is out of this one. Yep. What else? Gotta love them. Gotta love them. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, that's all he needed to do. He's now taking care of a one hell of a problem. That was a pretty talented Calder girl, too. Well, he thought she was safe. Yeah, thought wrong. And you can see here, this is a wall dancer with piling on of all things. And the mighty blow. Yeah, and you can see immediately Dark Elves have completely changed their tactics. Charge in. Gets the hit. He's going after this one. And he gets nothing. You just made the list! And he's made the list, all right. Yep, you can see on one hit, the Dark Elves have suddenly changed their strategy, and there is the one. Stupid idiot! 
This is after he's already used the reroll trying to knock down the War Dancer. And we've got a problem here, lads. Ball carrier completely open. That's what she said last night. And here they come. Tree takes the three dice, does the big power hit. Does he get a removal? No, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Oh, well, moves on. He's still got two players nice and covered here. Just look at this. Flowing in like water. Woodell's absolutely going to capitalize on that mistake. And yeah, here it comes. Strip ball just to make sure. With a frenzy of all things. Doesn't need it though. And he's got that one there. My nipples explode with the leg. <laughs> Ball pops three, makes the dodge reroll, and good luck, he is gone. Well, he's got his balls back, that's for sure. Uh oh, phrasing? I oh, don't care about the phrasing on that one there. And here we come. Wood Elves, now, this is like, you know, completely turn about now. They're going to make a screen all the way down here. This is their plan. Absolutely. Easily makes the dodge, yeah, bringing more players in. Risk the dribble. Doesn't risk the second one there. Meanwhile, yeah, no reason to stand around there. Just piss a right. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. That was strangely arousing. Would you like to do that again? Yes, you would. Heroes never die. Yeah, fortunately for you. Teak Under Armour holds up as he trips over the gerbil. Double one. Boy, that was a lucky break. Or maybe an unlucky break. Maybe a non-break? I don't know. You decide on that one there. Meanwhile, two dice. Push me, push you, and that's not really what he wants. He really needs this player over here. Makes both GFIs there. Stands up. Makes them... What are you doing? You need to be... You're blocking the pathway. Oh, well. He's going to do it this way. All right, that works. Two dice. Gets the hit right into the giblets. And there he goes. Oh, yes! Problem, he's got the ball. <laughs> that was not the plan. Oh, well, <laughs> at least you're holding your balls. I'll, I'll say on that one there. Dark Elves. Trying to recover this situation. There we go. Your creatures are becoming angry. They've been becoming angry all bloody day. They can't get anything to work. Certainly a stun, though. I don't know, you might have wanted to move that play in there. Oh, well, there we go. Easy peasy, Abby Squeezy. Gets an easy hit, see? You might have wanted to, but he's been any strength four. He's two dice either way. And meanwhile, as you can see, Dark Elves ended up with a ball the second time. Another solid kick the side. Oh, that, that, he's not getting it this time. Bounces off, and that's uh, not really where he wants it. Oh, well, can't have everything. He wishes. Oh, uh, here we go. Big tack on the line. But sends him flying there. Does not follow up there. He's going to join in the fun. Elder receiver is off and running. Yep, he's just waiting for something to come flying out of this pile. Yep, got the ball. Goes around the long way. Of course he does. Has he done it? One more GFI. Come on. Does he make the throw? Here we go. Yep, easy peasy, Aveling squeezy. Nothing difficult there for the Wood Elves. Yeah, yep, dodges through. It is Elf Dickery at its best. This is what happens when you're dealing with AG4. That's the kind of game it's become really quick. Push me, push you. Your last Calder Girl still survives. Are you serious? It's only turn four. The Dark Elves are madly scrambling to go get the ball back. All because of that one play, he shifted what his plan was. This is the result. It has gone horribly, horribly wrong. Well, Dark Elves, the killer bees. Yes, we're covered in bees. Side step. Well, that does you a fat lot of fucking good. Uh, someone's getting surfed in his future. Dodges away from the tree. He's off. He's running. Marks a few things up there. Calder Girl, she's off. She's moving as well there. It, it's the best the Dark Elves can really do here. It's all about hard pursuit. Well, they leave the tree in the dust, but the tree has been doing his job. Not really killing anything, but... <clears throat> now up makes the dodge. That's the problem. These are very well-developed war dancers, you can tell. Oh, my lord, makes it all the way through. Elf Dickery gets the tackle. He got him. 
Woohoo! Overtime! There's a bit of brilliant coaching right there. Gets a stun, takes the ball away. Dark L's not out of this one yet here. Turn four. And the tree has gone and taken root. Just what we were saying. It was doing so well. Not anymore, Sunshine. Not anymore. Push me. Push you here. Well, the Wood Elves, they really don't care about this scrum. This is all that matters right down here. And they are quickly moving into position here. Yeah, that was a kick to the teeth, all right, wasn't it there? Where is... Oh, my lord! And you fail. And he's injured himself! Woohoo! If it's a medical, it's a... Oh, fuck. <laughs> yep. Even elves can double one, and there it was, right there. Easy dodge, double ones, has to apothecary it just to keep the player in the play. And the Dark Elves, well done, have recovered the ball. They are right back in this. Runs up, goes to the easy handoff, gets that one there. I'm surrounded by idiots. I know the feeling, but yet the Dark Elves suddenly have recovered and they're right back into this one here. The ball's all the way here. And guess how fast he goes. He's a movement increase and he's off. He's running. Run, yeah, full run. Is there going to be a pass? Yes, there is. And of course, she's dropped it. Finish her. Well, there's the reroll, but that's cost of a precious one there. Rest of the Dark Elves. Now, are the Wood Elves going to take this line down? That is a good question there. It was going so well. That you can say that for either team. Dark Elves have managed to recover from, let's face it, what a hell of a tilt. And they're right back into this one here. He's got a light escort going here. Now we're welcome to turn five. Wood Elves now trying to recover the situation there. Let's see if the power of frenzy there. Push me, push you. Well, that's not doing anything here. Now he's got all these players doing nothing. Because ball's over here, Sunshine. Oh, well, he's going to have to go get the damn thing. That's what Wood Elves do. Run, you little bastards, run. Boy, those bastards can run. Yeah, kind of like, you know, most of the BBP and casting booth there on Taco Night. Yeah, it can run all right. Pee-hoo! Do not get the secret sauce, that's all I'll say. But yet on the sideline here. Takes him down. Tree's not doing anything there. At least it's hot pursuit. It's going to keep the Dark Elves somewhat honest. Honest Dark Elves. Yeah, you saw what I did there. There's no such thing. We all know that. Makes the easy dodge away there. Ow! And you fail. He's failed it again. Yep, went for the dodge. Fails the GFI on the gerbil of all things there. You can see what he was planning on doing. That doesn't work. Dark Elves get a turn. Turn six. And they're throwing the blocks again. God, that take under armor is dynamite. The only injury is but a failed double one dodge. Dark Elves moving along here. Streaming along. They'd like to get the numbers down a little bit here. Big in on the niggle. No, absolutely nothing. Can't even get through the teak. I swear it's mahogany. Yeah, that's the way this one's going here. Alright, now this is a tough one. If you're the Dark Elves and you see exactly what they're doing... They're going to stall it now. Oh dear. I find your lack of faith disturbing. Could be disturbing. Oh well. Dark Elves have definitely decided they're going to stall this one out here. Wood Elves trying to keep track of what the hell's going on in this field here. As crazy as they can, the Wood Elves now come sprinting all the way back down the field. Now remember, they are some of the fastest team in the entire game. Especially the catchers, war dancers, absolutely phenomenal there. But there's a price to be paid, and it's AV7. However, the armor's not paying any price today. Charges in, gets two dice, just to push. Well, that's fine by his it? and it's, it's all he needs. Brutality. And he's got a screen up, if anything. And this is why he's biding his time. He's going to see for Dark Elves. If they don't score, this young chap comes in, he'll take care of the business. Or maybe you. I'm surrounded by idiots. God, Gerbil's working overtime today. That is a lot of trips so far. I swear, it's over a 50% fail on GFIs. It's been brutal for the Wood Elves this game. 
All right, Dark Elves. Hey, look, welcome to the party. He's finally back on 10 7. He's finally got back to midfield. No, oh, don't worry, don't blame him. We had to try and save the game. It was going that bad. Tackle into the side stepper. And nothing. He just cannot get a break. You can tell at this point here, it, the coach is seriously looking for some kind of damage. He's just not getting anything out of this one here. Big hit! <laughs> Wait, he isn't dead. Shy surprise. Yeah, he isn't dead. It's a KO at least. That's something. All this effort for a KO on turn 7. That mahogany armor is dynamite. Dark Elves continue this relentless assault there. Do you get the power here on the equivalent of a Wadger? A Wadger? Yes, wrestle and dodge. It's a Wadger. Never you mind. Is she going to score it? Big question. Makes the dodge. It is in. Well done. 1 0. Yep, Dark Elves, that was an awful lot of work, but it did finally pay off. Boy, did they have to rescue that one right out of the crisper. Dark Elves have recovered their one KO there. Meanwhile, what Elves are actually down to play of all things? So it is a 10 on 11 here, but as we all know, what Elves? One 10 touchdown, pretty easy, and he's got two, and he still has a reroll here. Anything can happen. Now remember, what we got here, yep, good old perfectly good weather there, yeah, has the fame, hooty hoo indeed, alright, Wood Elves, alright, well, he wants to get to the finals this one. Now he's setting things up here, he's keeping all his options open. He'd like to actually open up, you know, a couple of veins here and there, very weird the opponent, yeah, as you can see here. He's got the one lad here. Yep, that thrower's got one job. One. Get that ball down the field. There we go. Solid kick out. Easy peasy. That will just make life so much easier. Do it! Yeah, he'll do it. Come on, he's moving. Under the ball. Come on, out of the raft as it comes. And there it is. All right. Now let's see what they get out of this one here. Charging down the field. There it is. Uh, round one. Fight! Yeah, maybe it is another round here. And here we go. It's just stunned, though. Bit of disappointment for this tree. This tree's not having a solid game, but he is trying to do his best. As you can see here, Wood Elves, good solid elephant strategy here. Just throw a bunch of elves receivers down the field, see what sticks. Really, that is it. Yeah, you're all hoping for a picture face. Oh, good lord. Nice hit. Thanks for standing still, wanker. You know, you hate to say it, he'll take that KO. It's not much, but he will take it. Removes the player, evens the numbers up. And the Wood Elves are on their way. Oh, good lord. Mr. Deadly is back again. Blitz is in. Goes after the Blodge. Blitz it gets the tackle. Oh, good lord, he got him. Surprise, motherfucker. Yep, definitely a big surprise. Chooses not to pile on, though. No, I'm serious. Chooses not to pile on. I was just stunned. You think he would have. Nope, they're off and running with the ball here. Here we go. There's the easy throw and, of course, the easy catch. Oh, my God. Who the hell cares? Oh, God. Everyone's a critic when it comes to Wood Elf games. And here we go. Dark Elves. Turn 8. Can they contain this one? That's going to be a hell of a thing, but we... Oh, good Lord. You know, the gerbils are having a great time with this game. They are, aren't they? The gerbils are working overtime. There's another failed GFI. Well, well he's going to mark this lad. He's got nothing better to do in here. Yeah, it's all going to come down to a crazy gamble play and see what happens. And here it is. Now, admittedly, here's a bit of smart. You got it. Power of leap. 
One die, he's got the push. Hello, what have we here? Oh, good lord, fails it. It's a block. Damn it. Hasta la vista, baby. The Dark Elves realized they really needed to put a player marking right there. They could have got the surf. Meanwhile, over here, counter attack. Takes the Calder Girl down. She's blocking the pathway, though. That might be something useful. Turn eight for Wood. Push me, push you. Driving in here. They do have a reroll still at large. That's a rarity the way these playoffs have gone. Comes in two dice. Well, now it's an easy score. Big block here. Does he pile on this time? Come on. Got him. Nah, maybe not there. Well, highly defective. Oh, Lord. Here we go. Why? Is not. Sigh. Oh, they're going to be seeing that one for a while there. The Wood Elf supporters have scored and tied at 1-1. This halftime, of course, is brought to you by Dunkin' Donuts. Coffee isn't as good, but at least we won't rest you for day in black. <sighs> oh god, it always gets old. That's my view of that one there. Oh well, he's earned it. He's definitely earned it. All right, what else? Ready to drive it in. It is tied one to one. As we've all seen, Luke Quad 4, yeah, missed a hell of an almost blunder. That was a tough one there. Dark Elves on the first rotation barely managed to score, and it almost was a disaster. There we go, solid kick. We're getting back. Oh, my Lord, and it's a riot. It's a riot. Yay. Yeah, it's about bloody time. All right, well, there goes the turn, and of course he fumbles his balls. Not enough time at the brothel for that lad. And here we go, three dice tree. Gets a solid pummel. Gets a solid bugger all, though. Yeah, well, that means there's only seven turns left in this one here. I hate to say, that really does favor the Wood Elves. They are notoriously good for scoring. That's what she said. It's the ears. Apparently, that's what it is. Where the fuck are you going? Is there a coffee shop down there we need to know about here? Why are you from Manchester? Alright, Wood. Again, no hurry. In fact, ticking the clock off actually helped the situation. It's like, oh, great. They just need to score. That's it, because there's no one turn touch the well. Actually, when you think about it, they almost could. This Dark Elf team actually could score it in one turn. Oh, good lord. There's a scary thought there. Yep, goes for the easy cheese pleasant. Gets it. Nicely done there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, indeed he is. He's being very happy about that one there. All right, Dark Elves. They are down that one KO there. That could be a big one there. I think always use the blodge back, but they still have a full yeah. 11. Big hit. Well, he did something in his pants, all right. He is pitching a tent, so that's for sure. And, well, he's gone spiked it in the ground there for a while. Meanwhile, as you can see here, just dodging away. No one's standing next to this tree. If I can help it, except for you. Pop and weave, you fool. Yeah, apparently. And the rest of the Dark Elves, they go fuck all their way. They're not moving anytime soon. They're going to wait for the ball to come down the field, and then it's going to be all out trying to stop this one. Meanwhile, there we go, pitching some wood down the field. Big kick by the pylon. Doesn't follow that one up, though. Like I said, that riot favored the Dark Elves. It means the clock's ticked a little further. All right, charge is over. Yep, they're going to take their sweet time on this one here. Big hit takes the punch. There goes the blitzer. Oh, dear. Dun, dun, dun. Well, that was a big KO. I hate you a minute. That was a big one. And suddenly, things aren't looking quite as good for the Dark Elves here. Wood Elves now can stop pushing this off the field. And here they come. 
Now, the Dark Elves are giving a hell of a lot of respect for this. Mind you, the Wood Elves are having to, I hate to say it, return the favour. And meanwhile, this one here is checking his underpants. He's apparently forgotten them again. Well, Dark Elves, I hate to say it, they've realised what they have to do. They've got to start putting pressure. They can't wait. Because they're running out of players quickly here. Charges in with the tackle here. Fails. Does not greed reroll that one. You'd think he would on that. Because he really needs the removal. Especially in this case because it's a reroll that hasn't been used. That's one of the three rerolls. It'd be worth trying it. I don't know. Not too many missteps this game. Not too many missteps. In fact, I don't think there's been any. Well, except for the gerbils. But, you know, there's no accounting for their taste. All right, Dark Elves. Yeah, you can see this mobile, you know, mobile unity here. That's a good description for him. There, tackle, movement nine. He is waiting, waiting. And he's going to wait till something shows up in his backside. It's going to be his fisting. All right, tree on the move. Well, he's got two candidates marked up. Shame he doesn't have tentacles. Yes, fun of fact, that star tree's got tentacles in the new Wood Elf edition. Scary, isn't it? It's a tree with tentacles. Don't ask. Just don't. Speaking of don't ask, there, there we go. Solid push. Wood Elves, turn 12 again. Slowly marching the ball down the field. They're not in a hurry right now. They really aren't. All right, here he comes. Yep. Hands it off to the strength. Four Why? Just to piss him right off. Oh, God, we're going for the surf, aren't we? Nope, no surf this time. Guess who's got Juggernaut? That's right, little lads. Into the crowd he goes. He's dead. He's dead. No, God, <laughs> no, God please, no. 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 Yep, indeed, yep, the crowd's taking care of that one there, they've given up all kinds of cuddles. Big ol' Rillin' in, the little fuck is dead. That's the power of Juggernaut, of all things. Yep, he's making sure that bastard's right dead. Oh, Lord, yeah, and here we go, Dark Elves now suddenly down two players on the defense, clock ticking away here. Well, that's it. They've got to go after this thing. They really cannot stall this anymore. There we go. Quick tackle. It's the player. Takes him down. Still can't get the bastard. Has the markup, though. We don't know how much good that's going to do. Yep, that's it. It is now absolutely... Yes, that was a useful elf. It actually is a lineman with block. He needs that thing, especially in this defense. He needs every player he's got. Yep, the alchemists are clearly happy. That's it for a Grimwald special. <laughs> Delivered. Tree still on the move. Eh, he's just moving along to help. Good boy. Push me, push you. Gets the tackle away here. Wood Elves still moving. A couple of players here. Turn 13. Oh, good lord. Take a look at who they're going after here. Yep, you can see it there. Misses, unfortunately, though. Oh, so much for that idea. And I think Wood's going to stall it another turn. Yep, yeah, that's precisely it. They're just going to stall it up. Don't get me wrong. It's a good play. They've got a two-play advantage. They've got the ball. The score's tied 1-1. It is starting to become a real problem here. And you can see it's starting to happen here. Dark Elves now desperately trying to make something happen. 1-9. Has to re-roll that one. There's the dodge. And, of course, pushes in. He's got really, like I said, no choice on this one here. Two dice. Oh dear. Oh fucking dear. Crap! <laughs> yep. That is it. That could be it right there. Double skulls. Only the second one we've seen all game. And that might be it for the Dark Elves on the defense here. Wood Elves getting to work. They're plowing the road. However, they don't need to go too fast. At least not yet. But they are moving. That's what they do. They do it so fucking well. God, what a player here. Lyman with guarded dodge. He's doing his business today. Meanwhile, charges in. Yep, Cash is getting in there. There's a solid blow. Oh, good lord. It doesn't matter what you think! Now, that's a pretty good solid stun. The screen is moving here. And, yep, the rest of the team moving into position, of course. Hey! 
Yeah, what else? Being very careful on this one here. This is going to be an easy march in, it looks like now. Yeah, they're moving all right. They're just going to take it to the goal line and wait. Literally, that is their best play. Meanwhile, down here, the tree having the business done. Big hit. Now he marks all these lads up. Dark Elves seriously overcommitted on this side. Yeah, they're not getting back into this drive. This is where desperation starts to kick in now. Dark Elves absolutely need to stop this one. They just need to do it. Mock the ball free. That's all they need to do. Meanwhile, as you can see here, not a single re-roll to be wasted by either team. Yep, you can see what he's doing here. Full speed ahead. Charges in. Makes the tackle. Gets the guy as he's always wanted. He still cannot break anything. It needs to be about 20% cooler. You think so, but it's just not happening. He cannot break out. He just cannot break mahogany armor. Oh, good lord. Now he scores this one up. Well, one die. This is the Dark Elves. You can tell it's starting to happen. The tilt has begun. Makes the dodge away with the dodge. He's hoping for fails. We have seen the Wood Elves double one a fail. That's the only injury the Wood Elves really took this game. And they did a path to carry it. When they double one a dodge with a War Dancer of all things. He knows how dangerous this player is. Focuses attention. Big hit. He's down. Does not pile on. He's keeping him down there. And meanwhile, 10 15. Got Wood. The Woody McWoodersons are trying to finally put this one away here. Moving everything, dodging everything. Nothing has failed so far here. It's Elves. AG4 never fails. Okay, in the first half it did, but second half it's doing a great job. It's absolutely doing a dynamite job. Yep, marks him up and then dodges in. Why? He wants the guard there. Why? It's the Witch Elves. You saw what happened there. Fully for one play, one placement of a player. Could have been a different story there. That might have been the only mistake the Dark Elves have made all game. Turn 15, Dark Elves. Once again, marking everything. Yeah, it's going it's to be coming down to the Witch Elves. This is what it is. It's all Witch. You've got to believe. Big it. Tonight we hunt. God, they are trying. They are trying so hard to do this one there. She has done a job. There's a KO, finally. But is it too little too late? It's all going to come down to this crazy blitz. Yeah, that's what it is. It's all down to this one crazy blitz. And he's taking this one out. He's not going for the ball carrier. Rerolls it. That was the last reroll. Makes the side step. Gets the takedown, but gets nothing else. And here come the rest of the ladies. Yep, absolutely. They are scrumming this up maximum. This is it. Turn 16. Wood Elves. Can they score it? Ouch! There he goes. Yeah, that's got them excited there. The Elven cheerleaders, they can feel the miracle. There we go. He's charging in. Dodge! Oh, well, charges forward, but does leave the hole. Makes the dodge. Here it is, all the way in. He's done it. He has done it. It is two to one. Oh, God. Here we go. Oh, God. If they say so. Oh, Lord. I guess I'm going to be hearing more of that. Let's play off by the looks of it here. However, the Dark Elves, as you can see here, they do at least have a movement nine player. It's possible. Slim, but possible. 
They are praying for the riot. If they can somehow either maneuver for the one turn, or if they can somehow get a riot, they can be back in this game. There we go. Big kick in our Lord. It's just a gentle gust of wind. Of course it is. <clears throat> Yeah, I think that is it for the Dark Elf season. Killer Bees, as I said, made one mistake. Barely one. And it's cost them, unfortunately. It's been a hell of a game between these two incredible coaches here. Alright, well, let's see if the Dark Elves if they can go out with a bang. That is kind of the plan here. Moving a couple more players around here. Yeah, there we go. Once he saw that kick, he said, forget it, not getting the right charges in. Gets the tackle, gets the hit, gets a knockdown, and gets a sweet bugger all. Ooh, you suck. Oh, well, guess what that means. Yep, you got it. It's fouling time. Yeah, there he comes. One more time. Yeah, meet me boot. I approve. Indeed we do. Ah, it's only a stun, unfortunately, and that is it for that one there. Good lord, what a match that was there. Your final result, though, Woody McWoodison's and the Wood Elves are advancing off to the final eight. The Killer Bees, they are out. No Dark Elf love for this season. Two to one. Whew. God, what a game that was. Well, thank you all for watching. It has been quite the marathon the last three days getting cast in. Tomorrow, even a Miller marathon, we've got more games. We've got three more matches to cast. And who you knows? Someone pays the beer. We might just have to cast all of them. Thank you all for watching tonight. Enough all. Bless your dice.